And the first thing I want us to do, it's my favourite thing to do because I think it really helps us. And we're going to do some shout outs. Where we go? For buy to sell specifically. Where are we at politically? <laughs> did, you just, did you just give us a massive sigh? <laughs> it's not as bad as all that. Whoop, excuse me. Politically, what's, what is currently impacting on buy to sell? 3%. Is that a universal 3% on every table? Yeah. All right. The 3%, I think, is psychological Thank in you. the market as much as everything else. Because uh, everybody was, I mean, I have two things. I, I'm selling the property and I'm also doing, going out doing surveys. Yes. And I think 3%, I thought 3%, what are they all what are panicking about? But they had to do it by March the 31st psychologically. I agree. Yeah. So... What are you going to do about the fact there is 3% added on stamp duty? Factor into your costs. Factor into your costs. Which costs? Uh, purchasing costs. Purchasing costs. And? But, but hang on. Economically, we're in a high market. How are you going to do that? Pass it on. Pass it on. So selling costs. So it goes either... Purchasing, yeah. Either into into the deal. Or selling costs. What's your third set of costs? Refurb costs, going to be our favourite conversation today. Refurb costs. So um, you either sell higher. Now, how can you achieve a higher sale on buy to sell? We've already had some clues here. Make it look beautiful. Beat the competition. Well, all your things that you have, like putting the tray on the bed and exactly. making it up and the lovely, pretty, whatever it is. Exactly. Yeah. Which you keep in a cupboard somewhere. Exactly. Yes. It, um, so what, until now, and I comment, until now, um, years ago when it was a recession, I had Eames chairs at £300 each and um, I, I had a tiny moment of temptation of going for the eBay ones and my best mate is a designer and he was like, I will never speak to you again if you do that. Not from snobbism, because he truly believes in design and rewarding designers. So I was like, okay. Um, so, so if you lifted them upside down, they have the proper stamp. Now, it's just a bit of plastic and wood, but no, okay. So, so what? So we were Eames. We were. Um, Ur if, if anyone's really into design, you're going to hear all this stuff. So, Urkel pebble tables from the 1950s, the real deal. They cost me 250 quid, and then another 200 quid to get them refurbed. We have the real um, Urkel uh, 1950s table. We got the ha you know we got the 1200 pound habitat sofa. We had every. We had the 1940s bought from an auction in Melrose in Scotland when Fernie was seven. Where are you, Fern? Oh, she's out the room. When, okay, I'll do an impression. When Fern was seven and we were a family down there and, uh, and we were at auction and I wanted this 1940s leather sofa, which is a very like she-she thing to have. And my daughter, um, excuse my microphone, was going, me, 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 I'm buying it, me, me, me. And there were all these like quite trendy people there. And uh, she, she, just like her mother, was gonna get it. <laughs> she got it, age seven. So in the recession, we had every piece of design ticked. It, my posing kit cost me more, but we had every piece of design ticked. I now have nine pieces of posing kit, and we've just finished our accounts this year, and my accountant tells me that's only worth 12 grand, right? Why? Because everything's from Ikea. Because we have been selling in a rising market, and therefore, we buy currently from Ikea, Habitat, and Habitat, oh man, oh, I'm pushing the boat out with Habitat. They're actually from Argos, it's the kilo tables. They're like 29 quid, 79 quid, and 59 quid. Um, so that's my most expensive thing. Sorry, I've just did an impression of you buying those sofas at, in Melrose. Sorry, love. <laughs> um, so, so we buy everything from Tesco, Ikea, Habitat, Argos, B&Q, The Range. Home base. Suite. Home base. So what's going to happen? Is my renovation cost going to increase or am I still going to do white walls, beige carpet with 14 mil underlay? No, my staging kit is going to increase. You've got to be more competitive in the market. Exactly. Yeah. So it's purely an economic response to your competitors. It's nothing to do with your magnolia walls. Exactly. Yeah. So that's how we get a higher end value. So next year in my accounts, my staging kit is probably going to be worth 30 grand instead of... Mm. You know, um, and I'll probably have a smaller number of staging kits because we're going to use it more productively. And so I would suggest that's a good response. For you, buying more discounted, the, the way statistically to get the deepest discount is to go direct to vendor. 
Now we do a huge amount of buying from estate agents, a huge amount from, of auctions. We do direct to letterbox, we do direct to um, vendor, but we don't do a huge amount because do you remember I was a complete girl and I found it very sad because some people's circumstances are terribly sad. Well, as long as we're ethical, we, can, we will go back into that marketplace. So we shift the sale price point or we shift the purchase price point. Now does the 3% seem so scary? Okay, so that's one of your, and then of course the third one is um, builders. Um, so you get a fixed price quote. Um, the, the outcome of the difficulties with builder this week is two of my investors have now had the builder's margin lifted off. So whilst we've had to explain, look, it's been a bit difficult, you know, the builder went off site, we're working with a sub, and I refused to have them back on site until I saw sight of all their certification. And the good news is um, it's costing you quite a few thousand quid less. So potentially you just spend more time recruiting your team for better costings.